I have to say that, Sue, I'm sorry, but I have stolen, I have stolen your, your definition of, of voices and voice placement and used it on a few occasions because the first time I saw it, it stuck with me right from the beginning because every one of us has 12 voices in us right off the hop. We all have 12 voices. It's all where you place the voice. And I would love to see you do it because you do it so much better than I do. But it's, it's remember you said you, you take a voice and you put it on the top of your head. And when you put it on the top of your head, the voice gets a little lighter. Then you put it through your eyes and it becomes a little warm and sweeter. Then you take that voice into your nose and you change the voice right down to the front of your mouth, to the front of your teeth. You're not changing the range of your voice. You're just keeping it in a different place. Now you take that into the middle of your mouth and the back of your throat and down into your chest. And you're not really doing anything with it. You're just changing the placement. And then you add a little bit of gravel and all of a sudden it becomes a little tougher. Then you put it into your throat, into the middle of your mouth, into the front of your teeth, into your nose, into your eyes, and the top of your head. But as I'm saying, that's only ten percent of the character. You know, Greg and I, uh, Gary, you weren't here yesterday, but Greg and I talked about the fact that the voice is the least important. The placement is the least important thing. Because when you build the, the heart and the soul of the character, the voice will be there. It'll be there, yeah. A lot of people will study from the outside in where they get the placement. They get the placement first, and then they build the character. Other people build the character, and then... The oh, yeah. No, that's a, I, I, I go, we did that in the discussion yesterday. The character yeah. comes first. The acting comes first. It's 70%. Correct. The voice is like 30 for 30%. But as a tool... To get to those places, when, if, you, if you've got the acting cho the chops down, is, is finding those placements so you don't hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and get frustrated and come out with one place going one place, going one place all the time. My yes. favorite line of yours, which I've used a million times, is you find out how a character laughs. And as soon as you find out how the character laughs, you have a great starting point. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, you, do, you have no idea what an effect and how much you have, uh, how much you have influenced my career for the last 27, 28 years. You have no idea because everything that you taught me, I kept. Everything that, you know, from your, I've used your book mm -hmm. as a guide. I've used your book when I was teaching commercial voice and I taught commercial voice for a long time and I... To, to, got people to buy your book because your book was it's still the best awesome you have the best book i'm sorry it's still the best i mean there, there and are uh, so many out there. it's always stuck with me all these years and i i have you to thank for that so my whole career started with you baby <laughs> same here so blue, you're you know, very smart. She sure is. I, I, I would, I would very, have, very smart. I would have to say between between the book, the acting that she did herself, and the direction, you're probably the most influential person in animation and in voice acting in the last 25 years. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going with that. Yeah. True, but thank you. I will take that compliment to my heart, especially since I'm depressed with my foot in a freaking cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, I've had women not want to have dinner with me before, but for crying out loud, nobody's ever broken their foot. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said no. Nashville. I was stuck in Nashville. I couldn't fly home because they were worried that I'd get a blood clot from the flight. Oh, yeah, from the plane, yeah. Yeah. And I, so I'm stuck in Nashville, and... I had the opera, they operated on my leg in Nashville, and I'm only, I was only hoping that it was a good surgeon. It turned out it was great, you know. It's, oh, good. It's, but I'm like, you know, stuck at home. I can't play golf. I can't. <gasps> so I'm binging on Gary Chalk on the, on the killing. <laughs> good choice.